Hey guys, what's up? Shell style, another random video for you guys, and I am semi fucking pissed. <laughs> Actually, I uh, decided to be productive and like uh, I wanted to create two tutorials like back to back, you know. I did one tutorial, then like I had everything already set up, ready to go. I just figured I might as well do another video, so you know, whatever, right? However, it turns out that fucking my OBS capture decided to say fuck you and it basically froze my capture. <laughs> I mean, it started off well, but then, like, in the middle of it, like, my foot had just froze, and it, it looked like a giant fucking, like, flip book when I was, like, you know, doing my thing on, you know, Premiere Pro, and it just, yeah, it, it got fucking annoying, so. And then for both videos, too, and I was like, fuck. But anyways, uh, I kind of realized what I did wrong. Uh, what happened was, like, OBS, um, obviously, it's pretty much encoding the, the footage as it's capturing into, you know, whatever drive you have it saved at, and um, I had it saved up in a very slow drive, a mechanical drive. When I import footage into Premiere Pro, it automatically opens up Media Encoder, and it starts trans coding the footage into a cineform format that way the playback can be fast and I think that's what caused the problem right so what I'm trying now is uh, move the video captured to be captured and sent and processed into my M.2 SSD right because it's probably like the fastest as storage device that I have built into my computer right now I ditched both of my fucking tutorials that I did but I decided to take the opportunity to talk about this situation if you come across it for any beginning editors or anyone that's starting to edit and you know why not something that i've experienced and so has you know other people that i worked with aside from like understanding how to edit and all this shit you kind of have to take the time to understand how your software works right now that's something that uh does come with experience and why not but if your software is not working properly for whatever reason if it freezes if it you know it just takes a shit or whatever reason you know the first reaction is obviously you're gonna get fucking frustrated and pissed off right but that's definitely the wrong response because you got to figure out okay what is it that is causing this problem why is it doing this why is it freezing why is it you know crashing the computer every now and then there's usually something specific that it, you're doing to cause the computer to crash or your software to freeze up right one habit i had is like i always have the task manager window open right and like uh, that kind of does help to show me when specifically a computer freezes or crashes either i notice say like my cpu is working more than it should if my gpu is working more than it should or if maybe my uh, storage device or like you know working faster than just anything right it kind of like gives you an idea be like okay what's wrong something's going on here right also like kind of like pay attention to yourself when you're editing if there's something specifically that you're doing then it's something that is kind of like causing the software to crash i mean nothing is perfect though i'll admit I, it is kind of annoying that i'm paying almost like i'm basically paying 54 dollars a month for like the subscription for the Adobe Cloud and for it to have problems at times it does get annoying right but again you know I, I do understand it's not perfect uh, what I'm able to do with Premiere Pro does outweigh the negative at times and the frustrations that go through that shit at times but when it does happen again rather than flipping the fuck out chill out take the time and understand that there usually is a reason why the, the software crashes or your software is not working the way you're hoping for it to work I guess that's the point of this video you know no matter what situation you're having if you're your software is not working like the way you want it to or if it crashes every now and then instead of flipping the fuck out and you know getting frustrated and then like wanting, wanting to give up take a deep breath chill analyze what happened trace your steps back and try to like see what it is that you cost the the software to crash and most importantly definitely have an auto save feature right with premiere pro i have it to save every five minutes uh, i have like the backup files and a, and a completely different ssd that way of like my ssd with a project file is stored at if that thing for some reason takes a shit then i have all the backup files and another ssd you know stored up as a backup you know so yeah definitely have backup files you know don't just you know depend on yourself to remember oh it just hit save when no fuck you that <laughs> Definitely have your software, you know, automatically save every like five minutes or so because yeah, nothing's frustrating and then working for like a half hour, then like only for the computer to crash. If you forgot to save, so all that work is gone. So yeah, <laughs> save your work. Don't freak out if your software doesn't work or it's not working properly. Most likely there's a reason or a workaround and yeah chill out and have fun with it so anyways i'm gonna i'll redo the tutorials i had that i did today but i'm not gonna do it today because it fucking pissed me off so <laughs> i'll do it again tomorrow or some other day so anyways that's it for this video thanks for watching peace